Hello, Nimo. Nice, very nice to meet you here. Um, so in this workshop we've been attending now, you've elaborated a little bit on your idea of this anti-COP. Could you tell us what this is supposed to mean or what are you planning? Well, you know, the, this is the 25, 21st COP holding in Paris. The COP has been meeting for 21 years and every subsequent year the decisions are moving further and further away from real solutions to tackle global warming. So I believe that it's time to send a strong signal to political leaders who are dragging their feet over taking resolutions which peoples of the world really want. Citizens of this world want real climate action. They want this to stop dependence on fossil fuels. They want to move to a new level of sustainable civilization. So I'm proposing that civil society and community should boycott future COPs so that at the same time that the COPs are meeting, we have popular mobilizations in countries around the world discussing climate change, taking action against the crime scenes and the crime scenes that the mining pits, the oil wells, the fracking locations, and sending real signals to those who are meeting in the COP that look, except you take real decision, you are just wasting everybody's time. I'm thinking also that because it's a two-week period, we can spend it also to exchange visits between communities, between nations. So people from Nigeria could go to Indonesia or go to Morocco or go to somewhere else to see what the struggles are so that we appreciate each other. Because by seeing and knowing each other, we can appreciate each other better and then we can build a stronger global movement against climate criminals. Okay, if I understand you correctly, it would be some sort of um, decentralized anti-cops all over the world at the same time, right? Precise, precisely, that's what, that it was, has, that's what it has to be. Thank you very much. Anything you would like to add on this current process of uh, strategic um, workshop of the movement or the future of the movement or the coalition? Well, I'm just waiting to see where the discussion is going to go because there are so many ideas. But the interesting thing is that the diversity of ideas shows that there's no lack of creativity. There's no lack of... Con people are concerned about the future of the planet and future generations and also other species and beings on this planet. So I'm hopeful from, from what we've discussed so far, I'm thinking that the direction will be such that from our own end, we can at least have some hope. Well, I think this, what we are calling for is an internationalist movement. Uh, it's not, you, you may not have too many examples of this in the world, but we've seen the struggle against the WTO, for example. It was fairly successful. It was varied um, um, and from multiple organizations and movements coming together to fight the same thing. So once we agree on something, I believe that we can forge ahead.